Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has started rolling out their latest Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 25136 to the Dev Channel Insiders starting on the 9th of June 2022. Now, some of the key highlights are you now have File Explorer tab support that has now officially started to be tested. Um, File Explorer navigation pane updates, updates for widgets. Um, there's also those numerous improvements and fixes that roll out in the preview builds. And then Microsoft also says that Notepad and Media Player now have received updates that have started rolling out to Windows Insiders. So just to take a quick look at some of those key highlights that have been made available now in this latest Dev Channel build 25136. And I'm just going to go through some screenshots taken from that preview build. Um, the File Explorer support has now been added and just to go through um, some different aspects of that tab support um, uh, as posted previously you will be able to right click and have a right click context menu on each tab and in this example it says close tab close other tabs and close tabs to the right and then you would be able to obviously drag and drop those tabs to different locations in the title bar as well and then taking a look at the next screenshot provided and um, when opening a folder you will now be able to right click on it and select open in new tab as we can see so when you select open in new tab that folder will actually open in its own tab in the title bar in the file explorer and i think that's a nice handy improvement in build 25136 and then just to take a closer look at that a new navigation pane layout and i just want to zoom in here so you can see it a little bit better in the video um, Microsoft says there is a refreshed layout of the left navigation pane now which makes it easy for you to navigate to folders and it now provides easy access to your pinned and frequently used folders and your OneDrive cloud profiles have now also been added in the um, navigation pane now in the file explorer so as an example your OneDrive cloud profiles reflect um, your username in this case Brandon and then also your associated account, which is a personal account uh, in this example in the screenshot. And then they go on to say, uh, Microsoft says, Windows folders, which are available by default in the navigation pane, are no longer displayed under this PC uh, to keep the that view focused for your PC's drives. And um, they say that they are beginning to roll this feature out, so it isn't available to all insiders in the dev channel just yet. So that's on a controlled rollout currently and then if we head to the next screenshot this is to do with the updated widgets and you now have dynamic widgets content on the taskbar and Microsoft mentions that they are trying out some changes to bring more dynamic widgets content uh, to the taskbar um, in addition to seeing live content from the weather widget you'll also start to see live updates from the sports and finance widgets along with breaking news alerts and just to zoom in here again so you can see it a lot better in the video i don't know if you can see that in the video but um there is now finance content in this example from widgets shown on the taskbar and the content microsoft goes on to say is meant to be quick and glanceable with the ability to see more inside the widgets board if you click on it and if you don't interact with the content um, update uh, the taskbar will return to showing you the weather so there we have some um, uh, content from the uh, finance content from the widgets shown in the taskbar in this example and once again um, they haven't rolled this out to all insiders and this is also on a controlled rollout and if we head to the next screenshot this is to do with uh, the uh, updates to the notepad and the media player now as many of you know Microsoft has been up updating its apps for Windows 11 and now there are a couple of major updates for both Notepad and the Windows Media Player now available uh, to mainly Dev Channel Insiders. Now just to go through those quickly, first starting with the Notepad, it now has native ARM64 support and um, that means you will get improved uh, uh, an improved Notepad experience on ARM64 devices on versions 11.2204 and higher available in all channels and um, Microsoft mentions you'll see faster and better performance when you use the app and then there's also improved performance especially when scrolling very large files or replacing large amounts of text 
and this is also available across all devices uh, in version 11.2205 and higher available in the dev channel and then the last key change and highlight for the notepad there's improved accessibility improved support for screen readers text scaling access keys and other assistive technologies and with additional improvements in version 11.2205 and higher also again available in the dev channel and then the a last screenshot to do with the media player um, it's mainly received two key changes and improvements and upgrades there's in performance improvements for users with large media collections and then you can now sort uh, songs and albums in your collection by date added as we can see in this screenshot so those are the key highlights that have uh, rolled out mainly in build 25136 and then those additional updates to the notepad and the media player and then if we just head to the release notes for build 25136 um as mentioned over and above uh, those changes to the file explorer and the widgets uh, we get those fixes and numerous improvements and i will leave a link down below to these these release notes if you would like to come check this out more in depth so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one